Hi everyone, so we're sitting on the stairs today because <laughs> I don't even know why, I just, I needed to film a video and then I was like, but I'm sitting on the stairs and I was like, why not just film it from the stairs? So here we are and I'm refilming it because I just didn't like it the last time, <laughs> there's no good reason for it and I just thought I'd talk about my rejections because here's my big news I've been rejected 11 times and that's the end of it so I thought I'd talk about that share my first reaction like a few hours after getting my 11th rejection and then just talk about how I'm feeling about it because these kind of videos really helped me so I thought I'd make one like that and also I'm pre-filming a lot of videos because like I'm also a little bit like I don't know if I'm tired or not but I've been getting up at like 5.30 because I've got assessments for A-levels got to get stuff done <laughs> so yeah I don't know if it'll make any sense and also I'm filming this like really in advance so when this comes out it will have been my 18th birthday yesterday so if you want to give me an empathy subscribe for empathy subscribe for turning 18 i don't think that makes any sense but i turned 18 so if you want to um, subscribe and i also got 11 rejections so if you want to subscribe <laughs> this is so bad the amount of times i tell a sub story on this channel and i'm like do you want to subscribe but anyway let's get into it so here's my first reaction and thoughts Hi, so to be honest I don't want to film that much and I think it will be more helpful as well if I film it after, not just a few hours after I've actually heard but to be honest everything's been going a bit wrong this week but I got my rejection and I wasn't expecting to get it because lots of people said that they were hiring like seven, eight weeks even though it did say two to three weeks I wasn't expecting it to be that much so it caught me a bit off guard and I'm not gonna lie, it's <laughs> a little bit painful because I've got to now find something else to do. <laughs> it just, I feel weirdly calm though as well at the moment. I feel like, you know, it's something I was expecting. It gives me the opportunity to do a lot of other things. And also, I have a lot of friends now recently who are like the year below me. So I feel like that will be nice in a way that I'll then be going through the process again with the people who are my friends in the year below. So that's nice. But it's so sad. Yeah, so basically the school that I got rejected from last was like one of my main schools. And I was auditioning from the start of January and then I sent my last tape in in March. And yeah, I did a lot of re uh, can't speak I did a lot of auditions for drama schools and I tried out a lot of different ones and <laughs> yeah it was an interesting experience and um, I don't really know what to say anymore it was quite painful in a way <laughs> to get that many rejections I mean you go through phases of being like yes another rejection um, this is making me a better person I'm going to come back better and it's not that bad and then some days you're like I've got so many rejections what am I doing with my life like where am I gonna go next but I think it's all fine because in the end I've had 11 rejections and I've got through the other side of it so now I know that like in future years it's not as bad as I thought in some ways getting this many rejections because like I'm still around at the end of it and what I'm looking forward to as well despite it being a massive fear that like everyone else at school is like oh I've got to get these grades I'm stressed about my A levels and I kept being like oh imagine that imagine having offers that you need to like get certain grades for couldn't be me 11 rejection squad <laughs> that's just me just me with my 11 rejections but then I was like oh wait because I realized that I'm in the situation that they're scared of of having nowhere to go but it's fine and what I'm thinking about is I'm thinking that it's an opportunity that I'm not going to be tied down everyone else university no boring 
<laughs> what I want to do is I want to um, get as many acting opportunities as possible. It's like an entire space that I can just dedicate to getting as much acting as possible and then I'm going to try and get a foundation course or three year course next year but to be honest if I don't get into drama school there are other ways to get in. I'm going to try and get an agent and I think getting rejected this many times has opened my eyes to other ways of getting into the industry and also I used to think that like training was the only route for me because like I don't know, I just feel like I haven't had that much experience and I feel like I really benefit from being in an environment where you can like experiment, try new things and I don't know, I just felt like because I've done like alright at school and everyone thought I should go on to uni that I should do drama school but now I'm thinking that like if I don't get in it's not the end of the world because you learn more on the job quite often and equally you can still get good and do training and do classes even that's not at drama school <laughs> so I'm just trying to take it as an opportunity to do the kind of stuff and like treat this next year as if I'd treat a third year at drama school just like getting all of like the headshots, showreels and all of that kind of material and really getting to know the industry but obviously I'll need to find work as well probably and I just don't want to get stuck in a place that I don't like. <laughs> it's very intimidating being like one of the only people at my school in this position. Although I've been rejected, I feel like it's like going to help me in the long term. I'm going to make the most of this next year and try and get as many opportunities as possible. I'm not tied down anywhere. No one will stop me. And it's quite exciting in a way that I could do anything in the next year and I could get so much more acting experience and I love acting so I'm not gonna stop because like also not to um name drop my school but there was I don't know whether I can say this I can say this I think but I went to go speak to um someone at school and um they were like so now what you need to do Lottie is you need to decide when's the point when you give up and I was like I'm not giving up well, you, <laughs> I've just been rejected for my first year at drama school and then you're like telling me to give up so that's just given me the motivation to not give up I'm going to keep going and I think you should as well and I'm putting this out there to say you're not alone and I'm going to be going through this process with you this whole like all of us being rejected I'm going to be there with you like doing this next year so let me know if you're in the same situation and... <laughs> yeah if you want to subscribe and see my journey and what i end up doing then that would be nice but also i want to find something to do in the next year obviously but what i'm looking for is i'm looking for something where i can like keep my evenings free for classes and shows and acting stuff and then if i wanted to do a job i'd want to do it in the mornings but all the interesting jobs like or work, working abroad or something, being an au pair is evening work so I'm gonna have to figure that out. That's some more thoughts I've been having but overall, <laughs> although it's very scary, I feel like you like, mm, <laughs> I don't know how to word this but I feel like it's quite often that you end up being at a point in your life like this like when I was going into sixth form I was like I think I'm going to hate it I don't know which subjects I'm going to do but I feel like it's good to just trust the process and know that you'll find a way and like I used to think like year nine year ten I was like I'm having a great time <laughs> this is really weird I, I was like I'm having a great time and I don't think it can get any better and I was nervous to move on but my life has just got better and better and like even if you go through negative parts everything in life comes in waves and the negative parts just make you feel better about the good parts and I'm hoping that because I've been through this it will open me up to be able to do more opportunities so that's what I'm hoping for and I think that will do the same for you if you've been rejected don't take it as like you're bad at acting or you should give up because it's only a 0.3% acceptance rate anyway and there's so many other ways so don't give up we'll be fine and <laughs>
those are my thoughts sorry it's a bit rambly i don't know if this is even worse than the last time i filmed it it's just it's a hard experience because like i am fine i am definitely fine but it does like when you get the last rejection it does make it feel quite real and it does <laughs> hurt a little bit but I'm fine and I'm learning to deal with it better so it's all fine I'm just like having a weird day today so <laughs> this is such a bad video to put on the internet but thank you for watching good luck you're gonna do great you're going to do great things so keep going thank you for watching bye